we made a video a long time ago where um, we um, first pulled uh, Twitter for some kind of information. In this case, we were looking for a trigger word that uh, uh, was uh, pulled by IFTTT every 15 minutes or so. And if there is a new message, it puts it onto the MQTT broker. In our case, it had a fruit. And uh, that message is subscribed on ESP826 and displayed on a dot matrix display. So how to make this has been shown in a previous video. You can click here to see that. But uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go and create a shortcut we can going to communicate with Twitter directly and this is where I'm going to introduce you to uh, Twitter web API that I have written um, so what this does is it communicates with Twitter directly gets that kind of information um, be it uh, searching for a word searching for info on user trying to find out how many followers a person has those kind of information and uh, process it and display it on a dot matrix display the first thing we are going to do is create a Twitter application. To create this Twitter application, um, we need four things. We need the consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and access token secret. Okay. Go to apps.twitter.com's website uh, and click on uh, create a new app. Enter some name. give it some description it could be the same thing and put in a website and accept the developer agreement create a new application so what okay once you create this click on access tokens and keys so you have your consumer key consumer secret and uh, you, you still don't have your access token so just say go create access token um, and this guy will generate your access token and access token secret okay today we're going to look at using Arduino to um, code our ESP8266 Arduino is a simple uh, C C++ based platform that you can uh, use to code your ESP8266 so download the most uh, recent Arduino and uh, use the latest um, one um, and use the latest uh, ESP8266 Arduino uh, platform um, currently it's uh, 2.4.1 um, there are a few flaws in that particular version um, but the next version might have uh, the solutions that have been um, posted for this uh, flaw but don't worry about it uh, I've taken care of that in the code the first thing that you have to do is go and download Twitter web API I'll leave the link below okay um, click on clone and download and download the zip file go to Arduino click on um, sketch include library add zip file and install the zip file that you downloaded once you do that you'll go to examples um, go all the way down to the web api esp266 and let's look at how to use this particular library um, so assuming that you have installed and you have all the keys ready um, so the first thing you want to do is include uh, this particular Twitter web API header, um, include the NTP client and uh, Wi-Fi UDP which is required by the NTP client. Um, this NTP is network time protocol. Um, in order to get um, a certain request from Twitter, you require uh, the current time and that is uh, used to actually send the request. So that's why you require this NTP client. Um, usually uh, the default value for sending and receiving the request is around 1.5 seconds uh, you you can uh, change this value you can use this particular hash define uh, timeout and you can put it above um, the Twitter web API so that it respects this particular value so if your network is slow and you don't have enough time uh, to actually get back all the results that uh, Twitter gives you you can increase this time um, two seconds five seconds 15 seconds uh, so make sure that you know um, 
you you give it enough time to actually get um, the data back when you're trying to read some data from Twitter um, the first thing that you want to do is also um, define your NTP people you can use one of these options that are here uh, set your time zone so if you're in Eastern time zone set it to minus five uh, uh, with and without daylight savings time you have registered accordingly um, and uh, you you get all the these four different values um, from the um, apps.twitter.com and put it into here um, first you define a Wi-Fi UDP um, and this Wi-Fi UDP along with this NTP server and time zone is used to actually uh, create a time client and this time client is passed into the Twitter client with the four different um, values that are uh, uh, put in by the user over here the first thing that you want to do is uh, in um, the setup you want to uh, start this particular Twitter client uh, you can have multiple Twitter clients uh, so this one is called TCR so you just say TCR dot start NTP so what this will do is start your NTP uh, server and this is required if you don't do this you will not get any value back from Twitter because your time is wrong and Twitter keeps sending you back saying that the, you don't have the correct time Okay, um, so let's say you want to search for a certain term on Twitter. Um, you first define std string search Twitter, so you can use this as an input, and you pass this input to uh, Twitter search, and this gives back a string, and this particular string can be used to display on your dot matrix uh, display. Uh, same thing for uh, getting uh, user info. So again, you can use a search string, and this search string can be um, like a search user. So this this is passed to this particular TCR dot search user. Uh, again, this takes uh, 1.5 seconds to get the data. You can get a uh, lot of information like uh, the follower count. You can get uh, information about how many followers this person has, what is the latest tweet, and all that kind of info. Um, and if you want to post to Twitter, obviously uh, you want to use the tweet function, so tcr.tweet, and then pass whatever you want to tweet. Um, again, this takes some time as well, so post. Uh, um, Again, if you're not a, uh, the complete message is not posted on Twitter, make sure that you can increase this time depending on your network speed. Today we are going to create a application. We're going to use this Node MCU. It's connected to a display. I've uh, created a similar application before. You can look at it uh, right here. Um, so this display is a simple dot matrix display, which is Mac 7219 based display. Um, so you can daisy chain these guys. Um, so the connection is quite simple. Just connect D5 to CLK, D7 to D in, D8 to CS, and uh, ground to ground, and 5 volt input to the 5 volt of the uh, dot matrix display. Uh, we're going to use the Twitter web API um, that uh, I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, so here this web API can uh, read your tweets, uh, read a certain um, search term, it can get user data like followers, how many uh, likes uh, to a certain tweet you have, what is the latest message for a certain user. Uh, you can also use this application. So we have an HTTP server that we're going to use to actually uh, post tweet. And also the same server can actually manipulate the search term. So the data that it reads from Twitter um, is live and uh, whatever is being currently uh, searched for that Twitter value can be used to display here so you can display follow accounts uh, you can display what is your latest tweet you can display uh, what is a latest tweet for a certain search term open Arduino and go to files examples Twitter web API ESP8266 and open Twitter tweet search FS uh, Wi-Fi manager okay so I already have that open um, so this is a complete application um, so here you can define your timeout you can define all the values for the secret in a, a file called secret attach this is just a placeholder you can fill in values in this case I'm going to use this MD Parola display um, so you can you have to um, uh, install these uh, libraries that are mentioned over here for uh, if you want to use the max uh, 7219 display you want to install it from here for MD Parola you need to install these two libraries you can use either um, 
again um, it's up to you so I have given a choice so here you can mention these two you can just uncomment if you want to use this library and uncomment this guy if you want to use this library it's an either or option don't use both it's going to give out an error um, so uh, you can fill in the values here so these this is the host name of this particular application uh, the starting search term so if you want to search for hashtag dog um, so you can change the value here again uh, this need not be uh, the value because we can obviously change this uh, I'm going to show you how uh, enter your Twitter credentials uh, you can put in different passwords for updating and uh, also um, for the Wi-Fi manager okay um, so you don't want to change anything below this um, so here uh, the applications um, does a lot of things um, uh, you can actually uh, see how this application works um, so the first thing that uh, happens is it initializes the display it starts the Wi-Fi manager uh, Wi-Fi manager is pretty cool you don't have to enter the Wi-Fi credentials at the beginning of your sketch and this can be changed so if you go to a new place you boot it up it can't find the Wi-Fi that it had uh, connected previously it's going to ask you for settings to connect to that particular areas Wi-Fi so you can uh, this is pretty cool so you can um, use this Wi-Fi manager to connect to uh, whatever is your latest uh, Wi-Fi settings uh, once it's connected what it does is it saves all those values here again um, in that Wi-Fi settings you can change your search term okay um, so once that happens it's going to start an MDNS server so this uh, server you can either use your HTTP colon whatever uh, host name you gave dot local if you have a bonjour or uh, if you don't have a bonjour client you can use uh, HTTP colon double slash whatever is your local IP um, so here there are uh, different web pages so you have a search web page so here you can again type in whatever is your http colon double slash ip slash search uh, to search to update your search term slash tweet uh, to actually uh, go ahead and tweet um, and you can also use slash retweet to read whatever was the latest result coming on the search term so what uh, once it gets uh, the results from search it says this particular user is telling this on Twitter so that is being displayed continuously on your display and uh, this is to actually get your search term and process it and save it so that is what this guy does so you want to do either search search tweet or retweet okay so in the loop you can see that uh, you can actually press the button and actually start the Wi-Fi server if you if you uh, want to manually do it um, and here in the other part of the loop you see that it's actually updating the animation so go ahead and try it out uh, so you can see how I set it up on my phone right now okay the first thing that you want to do is go to Wi-Fi Scan your Wi-Fi network. Enter the password. And then it will say sign into your display. Go and configure Wi-Fi. In this case, we'll connect to this network. and we can update the search term in this case we're just going to use dog and enter save go to a web browser and enter the ip address enter your wi-fi credentials um, reset your node mcu or esp8266 once that happens enter the ip address over here in this case it will ask you do you want to tweet something you can tweet here but what we can do is we can also look at um, the last received message and this is a message that is scrolling on the display and we can go and update search word so the search term has been updated 
and uh, once the display finishes with the current uh, message that it's showing in the next few searches it will start looking at the new um, search term and you are going to see those um, real terms.